Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning back in to my channel. So, um, I am going to fast forward this video because if I didn't, it was going to be pretty long. Um, but basically, right here, what I'm doing is I'm showing you guys how to take down the kinky twist. Basically, what you want to do is you just want to get a plain spray bottle, fill it up with water, uh, make sure you spray the hair um, with the plain spray bottle, and then you're just going to take a cheap conditioner. The one I had laying around was VO5. Um, just rub that and rub that in on the um, your client's hair, your child's hair. And what the water and the conditioner does is it prevents the hair from shedding and excessive breakage. So as you can see, um, with me taking down these twists, um, Gabby is not experiencing a lot of breakage or shedding. So if you just continue to do that, um, you should have no problem with taking it down. Another reason why I do this is because with her hair, with her being natural, um, natural hair tends to be, well, her texture is pretty kinky. So um, it curls up and if I try to comb it out, it'll, it'll cause pain for her. But the products I'm using is the Cantu Shine uh, Define Custard. Actually... I didn't even end up using that. I didn't use that at all. So disregard that product. Um, I used the Cantu uh, Curl Activating Milk, the Shea Moisture, um, the Shea Moisture Shine Mist. I also used the Leave-In Conditioner uh, for moisturizing, moisturizing her hair, a protein um, leave-in, a hair oil, um, just the basic hair oil to add shine and moisture and then to oil her scalp. I used the wild growth hair oil and that Afrogy bottle. Um, that one is a moisture leave-in conditioner as well because with her hair being natural um, with her texture, that texture tends to need a lot of moisture. Um, right now, I'm just pointing to the Eco Styler Gel. Um, you can use Eco Styler Gel or Edge Wax or Edge Control, whatever you may have. I tend to use the Eco Styler Gel on my kids. Um, for some reason, it doesn't really work on my hair too well with as far as like laying down my edges and things like that. But it works great on them. So, anywho, as you can see, I'm just going throughout her hair and I'm applying those leave-in conditioners. It is very important to make sure the hair is properly moisturized. Moisture is very important when it comes to natural hair because natural hair tends to dry out um, pretty fast. And um, you want to make sure you got all that moisture put back into it. Now, um, the other thing is I actually did not end up using a blow dryer to dry Gabby's hair. The reason is because when I started on her hair, it was late at night. It was extremely late and they still haven't, they still didn't eat dinner yet. So dinner was in the oven and they also still needed baths, her and Nyla. So um, that's the only reason why I didn't go ahead and blow dry the, her hair. But if you have the time to, you can blow dry the hair. Um, it is a easier process to do it on blow dry hair. Well, for me it is. Um, but basically, as you can see, is I'm parting the hair in half. And you just want to part the hair from ear to ear. Because what we're going to do is... Um, I actually got this style on Pinterest. Um, it's not the exact style that was on Pinterest. But it is very similar. I just tweaked it a little bit to my liking. Um, so if you like it, you know, you could tweak it to your own liking. Or do exactly what I'm doing here. But as you can see, I part the hair in half from ear to ear. And then I parted the hair down the back of her head in the back. And I created two sections back there. Now what we're doing to the front is I'm going to create three sections in the front. So what you want to do is you just want to start off the part like around the eyebrow. Um, what helps me is because Gabby tends to have my hairline. A little bit with the, y'all yeah, know I'm always calling my hairline at West Side, but uh, she tends to have my hairline, so I know like where her hairline tends to get thin around the little W, the hoop little part. That's where I'll part it. So basically, you just want to part it diagonally going back because you're those sections are going to be kind of be like triangles. So as you can see. I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the left side of her head, on the right side of her head. So you just want to continue to do that. 
And then that's just going to give you those three sections at the top. Now, once you have those three sections, um, what you want to do is you want to take the middle section and you want to part off, as you can see, the, the little triangles. It'll, that'll, the triangle will help you be your guide. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to properly moisturize the hair. I can't remember if I said this or not. Um, I actually didn't realize it until I started to do this style. Do not use the Cantu Curl Cream Activator because that is pretty sticky. And basically what that Curl Cream Activator is, is exactly what it says. It's supposed to activate the curls in your hair, which to make them stick and, you know, pop. So you don't want to use that. Instead, you want to use just like a basic moisturizer or hair milk or hair smoothie. Nothing as far as like an activator cream because those tend to have like a sticky residue. But um, basically what I'm doing is I'm parting off a smaller section from that middle section at the top of her head. And I'm going to do a basic cornrow coming all the way down. And it's nothing fancy, just braid the hair all the way down. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all heard that bang. Uh, I don't have no idea what my neighbors are doing upstairs. But let's continue. Anywho, so as I stated, you just want to um, make a basic cornrow going all the way down to the front because that braid is going to fall in front of her face. And what we just did on that side, oh, I don't know why I always say we. I I feel like I'm with you guys. I feel like we have a connection. No, but um, on a serious note, um, you're just going to do what you've done already on the other side of the head. So I'm just going to make that same exact braid on the opposite side of her head. Comb it through, and then you're going to cornrow. Yeah, excuse me, I'm bored. It's late at night. I need to cook and get the kids in the tub. As y'all can see, I'm always doing stuff late at night. <sighs> one day I'm going to get my life together. It might not be today, but one day it'll happen. And we're braiding, braiding, braiding. And I'm just making sure that it's even. So now what we're going to do to the back part, go ahead and apply your moisturizer. Detangle it, comb it all the way through. This is why I was saying it'll be better to do it on dry hair. As you can see, I was hurting my po baby. Um, but, but her hair was already starting to dry. So it was making it a little bit more difficult because it was like, I think it was about 80% wet and then the other 20% was dry. So it was starting to make it just a little bit difficult. But um, just apply your Eco Styler Gel to around the hairline, smooth it out. If you don't have Eco Styler Gel, actually I prefer to change it if you have like edge control or edge wax, go ahead and use that. Don't use the Eco Styler Gel because it actually ended up leaving um, a little bit of a residue. 
And one thing I have noticed with that Cantu line, it does not mix well with other products. So because Cantu does not play fair, um, if you have something else, use that instead of the uh, Eco Styler Gel. And you're just going to braid the hair all the way up. Now, you don't have to braid it all the way to the end because what we're going to do is we're going to put in a ponytail. And you're just going to do that braid on all of the sections going braiding up, upward, as you can see in the back. And you also see in the front. And now, um, you just want to put those braids into a ponytail. And what I'm doing now is I'm just unraveling some of the braids that were still up. And from there, um, just detangle the hair. And then you're going to apply a um, scrunchie. Use the scrunchies that don't have the metal clip on them because those tend to cause breakage. So just use a scrunchie or an elastic band without the metal clip, whatever you want to call them. And um, I did go ahead and apply the hair bun. Now, the hair bun, I got mine from Payless. Payless has the cutest hair accessories for little girls. Um, I think I got that for like 50 to 70% off. And it was like probably like $2. And I got a few of them. And I also got, if your child does not have a lot of hair, they do have some that come in smaller sizes. Um, and I have a few of those as well. Basically, you're just going to smooth out the hair puff and you're just going to create, you know, the basic hair bun. And, um, oh, my baby's so tired. So, there you go. You're just going to tuck the ends of the hair under that hair bun. Oh, no, Gabby. She wiped, oh lord, she wiping her nose. But I hope you guys like the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video if you did like it and give it a big Let's thumbs up. Turn, you guys Gabby. have a good night. So Bye. see your hair. Turn some more. And this should last about two weeks. Gabby, why are you making that face? You want to say anything? I want to say something. What do you want to say? Um, I want to say that thank you for watching the video. Alright, well bye.